After the questioning by Senator Collins, I want to say for the record that Senator Van Hollen is here today. He had to go vote on the floor and he'll be returning. Senator Manchin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, Chairman Gensler, thank you for being here. I think you know I sent a letter um, to you concerning on the uh, on the SEC's uh, um, ruling, if you will, or presumed ruling. And we talked briefly about that. So what I really wanted to do is make sure that we have the scope three emissions. I have a big hard, I have a really hard concern about the ESG because if ESG is not taken with the same light that basically geopolitical unrest that we see around the world, you're putting us in a very unfair advantage or, or disadvantage, it can be very harmful. I say that because friends that I have over in the UK, uh, when it came to survival, when it came to freezing to death or basically being able to maintain any type of a quality of life with all the stress because of the Ukraine war, they threw all caution out the window. And I think, you know, because they were just trying to survive. So the environment took a way, way far back seat. And if we do it properly, if we have a balance between the energy and the economy, we should never get in that dis, you know, disproportionate, uh, unbelievable situation. So on that, that, that really my letter addresses those concerns. And if you all could give it uh, consideration as far as this scope three emissions could really be devastating to the smaller operations. Uh, and I'm understanding you all have already, I think, evaluated you have of the five, 500 largest Russell 1000 index companies, 90% of them already published substantially sustainability uh, reports calling into climate. So it's putting a lot of burden on the food chain way down low, and people just don't want to put, you know, we're hearing an awful lot of comments on that. So if you want to just say something about that, or if you are aware of that and considering that. No, oh, I, I thank you for the, the question. Um, we, we just, I want to say this, uh, as I've said before, we are merit neutral at the SEC. Congress debated this 90 years ago. We, it's, uh, 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 it's a really important feature. Investors get to decide what investments may they make, and we're a disclosure-based agency. And like the statistic you said, investors are already relying on climate risk disclosures by companies. Well over half of the top 1,000 companies already make uh, disclosures, not because we mandate it, Senator, but they're making it because their investors want that information to make investment decisions. So we took it up to make a proposal to bring some consistency and comparability to a lot that's already happening. To your question, if I might say, about so-called scope three, this is for the other senators and members, this is like uh, supply chain, greenhouse gas emission, or, or customers, you know. Yes, friends, Republicans have just unveiled a new proposal. This new relief plan will go out to more targeted group of Americans and will include monthly relief checks. The Biden administration is committed to approving new legislation that will relieve inflationary pressures for the American people. My dearest friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video for all of the latest news and information. To say thank you for being part of this community, I will be announcing several winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, my friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Nearly 38 million people live below the poverty line in the United States, making up for 11.6% of the population. In terms of poverty, Mississippi is the poorest state in America with a poverty rate of 18.1% in 2021, followed by Louisiana at second and New Mexico at third. Some lawmakers are trying to pass a different piece of legislation that will affect many households. Republicans in Congress are proposing an expansion of the child tax credit that would boost refunds and include credits for unborn children. Representative Ashley Henson an Iowa Republican proposed the legislation it is known as a Providing for Life Act. Representative Hinson's measure 
includes nine other bills aimed at bolstering federal benefits for American families. The legislation would boost a refundable tax credit from $2,000 to $4,500 for families with children under the age of six, and $3,500 for families with children between six and 17 years old. Unlike the crisis version of the credit, parents would have to be employed. To be eligible for these refunds. Another provision would retroactively expand the child tax credit to unborn children. Parents would be able to claim the credit from the prior year when they are pregnant. They would also be eligible for the credit for the current year after the child is born. The bill would also make the adoption tax credit fully refundable. The credit was worth $14,000. $890 in the current tax year for adoptions finalized in 2022. Other measures in the proposed package include an option allowing parents to draw up from their Social Security to finance up to three months of paid parental leave and enhancing certain benefits for new mothers. It will also include incentives for states to set guidelines on fathers paying for part of a woman's pregnancy costs. And would force cooperation with any child support requirements in order to receive SNAP food benefits. So, dear friends, what are your thoughts on this bill? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. According to a member of the President's Council of Economic Advisors, the crisis, rather than Biden's economic policies and stimulus packages, is the real cause of high inflation. In a recent interview over the weekend, economist Heather Boucher noted that a key criticism against Bidenomics and the huge stimulus it had brought was that it had fueled inflation. A $1.9 trillion relief package, the American Rescue Plan, was announced in January 2021 and passed by Congress in March of that year. Boucher also said, Yes, the United States had inflation. But so did other countries that did not have the same policies. So the inflation, the real cause was a global crisis, and that is about the resiliency of our global supply chains. Expanding on her point, Boucher also stated this is why the U.S. was making the investments that we need to make. Inflation in the United States rose at a 4% annual rate in May. This is according to the Labor Department. It is the lowest annual rate in over two years. In mid 2022, inflation in the U.S. topped 9% to reach a four decade high, with market commentators noting multiple factors, such as clogged supply chains, outsized demand for goods and services, and trillions of dollars in crisis related stimulus spending. President Biden's approval ratings hit an all time low last year. With polls showing that Americans were very unhappy with the state of the U.S. economy and soaring gas prices. During her interview with CNBC News, Heather Boucher also noted that the inflation rate had come down for 11 months now and that the U.S. has also seen stronger growth than other G7 countries. And we have not seen higher inflation. Gas prices have begun to dip across the country. With gas prices lower, Americans are paying less to fill up their gas tanks. The fact that the price increases are slowing down is a major win to people who are struggling to pay for the basics at the grocery stores. Well, my magnificent and most marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Monday. My dearest friends, thank you so very much for joining me here and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing several winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. My dearest friends, please make sure that you enter these weekly giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, my friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.